Right on time. Harlem Palanquis broadcasting to you live and direct from a giant steel piston at the center of the Earth's crust. How's everybody doing? See some people joining. I'm waiting for you all to join in for the internet start functioning, coming up to full speed. We got 50 million viewers, then I'll start talking, all right? So, <clears throat> we have fan questions. We got all sorts of things, competitions, t-shirts, CDs. It's, all, it's gonna be a pleasure for you and it's gonna be a pleasure for me. Ah, let's see. How's everybody doing? Hey, Fronora. Hey, Ora. Hello, Mexico. Mexico's in the chat. Pat Finner show. Throwing in a wave. I'm special, yeah, thanks. <sighs> Hello, San Diego. Isn't this wonderful? I can talk to people all over the world. It's like USA for Africa, but now. Everybody all in there at the same time. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> we've had a lot of fan questions. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can do my best to answer some of them and um, make up shit, complete lies about other ones. It will be up to my uh, personal preference and how I feel at the moment to do either or. And, uh, and let's see how we do. Feel free to comment more stuff. If you come up with a question live, I can, I can answer that too. <clears throat> so where were we? I answered some of the stuff in the last Instagram live. I'll answer some of it now. It might be new questions. So let's start. Questions. Will the set list be different for each show? I'm assuming you mean for the World Wide Web World Tour? In which case I can say yes, affirmative. Partly because some of the songs you're voting for, and we don't even know which ones those are, but the other ones were also making sure that the sets are different from each other. Since it's easier for you geographically to see multiple shows, which you know I think you should if you got nothing better to do, which I know you don't since everybody's locked in in a global pandemic, forcing you to sit at home and just shuttle traffic back and forth from the kitchen to the living room to the bedroom, unless those are all the same room, then you're not shuffling very far at all. So yeah, check them all out, because they'll be different. Will there and released or new music in any of the set lists? That's, uh, that's interesting uh, phonetically and grammatically. But uh, we will play songs that are unreleased and new. I mean, they'll be new to you. <laughs> We've had them for a while. I'm working during the show, somebody says. Uh, can I still watch the show from my city? Yes, you can. There's a 24 hour replay window. You can watch any of the shows from anywhere in the world where you are. You can see them all, which you should. You should buy tickets to them all. You see them all. I know you got nothing better to do. The hives know you got nothing better to do. Just watch them all. Uh, so here we go. The first question that's actually from person. These were all created by bots and uh, algorithms which were, uh, they're built in, like when you speak anywhere close to your phone, it picks up the sound and it goes into an algorithm in the cloud and it creates questions for the hives, which we then answer. So it's kind of like the question you didn't know you wanted answered, but now I've answered them. But now a question from Dane Wilkosh. Will you ever release Two Kinds of Trouble? Well, background info, Two Kinds of Trouble is a song that we played live on a couple of occasions. It exists and uh, I think we should. Yes, we should release it. And I think that means that we probably will. I don't really have a timeline for it, but it exists and it's good. Love you too, Sherry Kicks Rocks, whatever that said. Uh, and Vespa Ike has a question. So yes, on Two Kinds of Trouble. Where are you going to play for this tour? At a studio or at a music venue? It's in a secret uh, undisclosed bunker, completely COVID proof and breaking proof somewhere in the greater Stockholm area. That's about all I'm at liberty to say. Uh, Backstabbeth has a question. So is the Samoyed dog the official Hives mascot now? 
the dog belongs to Chris Dangerous. It's his and his alone. I mean, we all love it, but it's his dog. So it's the Chris Dangerous official dog. <clears throat> Pernilla Panzer, hi, has a question. It's in Swedish. It's, har ni någon speciell grej ni gör innan en spelning för att få upp energin och så vidare? For uh, all the international viewers, all 50,000 of you, there's a... Uh, the question is, do we have any special thing we do to get the energy up before the show? We, uh, ha we do. We slap each other around in the face and on the body and all over the place. And then we stare each other in the eye to see... To get that psychic connection, that telepathic connection that we need to be the world's best live band. So uh, there you have it. I mean, it works for us. It might not work for you. You may have varying results with this. But that's what we do. Uh, Megan, do you have any sage words of advice, encouragement to help us all get through another potentially difficult year? I mean, I'm struggling myself. Uh, just wasn't it Winston Churchill who said, when you're going to, through hell, keep going. I think I'll go with that. It was actually, I, I just said it. So from now on, you can quote me on that and it'll be my quote. See how I did that? You can say that quote and then it says Howlin' Fella from the Hives on Instagram Live in 2021. Uh, what's HPA's skincare routine? Dude looks the same as 2001. I think I'm uniquely qualified to answer that since it's my skincare routine we're asking about. I eat a lot of vegetables and uh, I sleep in a hyperbaric chamber with only the freshest uh, alpine oxygen that I get flown in from Sermat uh, every evening. So I only breathe that and then uh, I also sometimes bathe in a vat of Illuminati level lotion. There you have it. It's also good genes. <laughs> Thank you for noticing my, my perfect skin. Uh, Galera Carolina wonders, will you guys ever release a song in your own language? Um, I don't know. I pr probably not. I like English for rock and roll. Uh, I do know our own language, which is Swedish. I know it very well, but I'm, I'm not really comfortable with that. And here we got how you take care of your voice health. Do you take care of your voice health? It's actually kind of a funny question because the man kind of responsible for me taking care of my voice health might be showing up on the chat later on. Matt from the Bronx kind of helped me out with some tricks. So yeah, I, I guess I kind of do. Not really though. Uh, for the set list, does the audience have input? Can we hear some previously unreleased material? Yes, you can have some previously unreleased material. The audience has input. We're still working on exactly how, but you will be able to vote for at least two songs per show. And those will be your decision and we will just acquiesce and play whatever you want us to play, whatever you collectively want us to play. That's going to be fun. Oh, the Bronx rocks. Yes, indeed. Do you remember playing La Zona Rose in Austin, Texas? Yeah, I do. That was fun. When are you next in England? I mean, with Brexit and the pandemic and everything, I have no idea. Uh, let's hope soon. I love going to the UK. <sighs> so yeah, the audience has input. Here's another question. Kommer ni spela nya låtar, which is same. Will you be playing new songs? And yes, we will. We will be playing new songs. What are you doing to prepare for these shows since you haven't played live in so long? Well, it's a valid question. We are at the moment rehearsing, practicing, and trying to get back up to our normal superhuman level of proficiency in order to duly impress you during the live stream of our World Wide Web World Tour. And uh, I think we're going to do really well. Pelle, do you like Queen of Rap, Nicki Minaj? Yes. Well, yeah, sure. I like her. We met her at a festival once. Pretty cool. Cheers, Nicki. How about the pool at the Cosmopolitan in Las Vegas when you dove in with your tuxedo? I remember that fondly, it was really fun. 
Come to Norwich, England again, please. Yeah, I'll, well, I'll do my best. It's not, it's not only up to me. So you want me to answer more questions then? I do. Yes. Hello from San Diego, California. Hello, San Diego, California. Uh, the first time I ever saw you guys was as an opener from Room 5. Remember that? Needless to say, you were the best act of the night and my favorite live performance ever. Thank you very much. Question. What are some current bands that we should all be listening to right now? What's on your playlist? Thank you. Uh, the, my favorite current band, I think, is Viagra Boys. You should listen to them. They put out a new record two days ago or something. Uh, they're from Stockholm and they're my favorite at the moment. I don't know. I'll, I'll just leave you with that and you'll listen, listen to that twice instead of listen to them once and some other band again. All right. Lakat San is wondering if we're working on a new album. We have a lot of songs and we're going to put them on album. So yes, we're working on album or albums. How did you guys go about doing a song with Timberland? A crying, laughing emoji. Uh, well, Timberland asked us to do a song with him and we said yes. Do you have any pets? If not, why? I don't as of yet have any pets because I, I guess I travel a lot. Uh, not anymore though, so maybe I should get a pet now. Running out of excuses, frankly. Uh, what is the best concert you ever went to or the one you remember the most or even changed your life? Well, the first thing that comes to mind is at the tender age of maybe 16 or so, seeing the Norwegian band Turbo Negro in front of maybe 26 people at a youth center close to our hometown. And I did not know they existed. And I, I've been a fan ever since. And uh, that was pretty cool because something existed I didn't know existed. And uh, to see one of your favorite bands without ever having heard them first was really fun. It was a good feeling. Will you tour with Refused again? I would like to. Yes, please. Tina Martini. Hi, little dog. How did you know that you wanted to be a rock star? Well, I knew I wanted to be in a rock band uh, about being in a rock star that came later when I realized that it was possible. A lot of, a lot of skincare routine questions. Maybe I should do a separate Instagram live about that. I hear it's all the rage. Go through my 11 step Korean beauty regime or something. <clears throat> I hear you are a vegetarian. Is that true? Yes, it is. That's my skincare routine. Uh, then I'm, all, I'm quite possibly the worst vegetarian in the hype, though. Some of them, other ones are real vegetarians. I sometimes eat meat. But yes, I'm a vegetarian. I eat meat. We do exist. The nicest celebrity you ever met and the cockiest one. Well, the nicest one... I mean, it was a short meeting, but Neil Young was extremely nice. And Bruce Springsteen was also extremely nice. And the cockiest one is me. Uh, all right. Next album soon. I, I would like that too. Do you know how to play an instrument? I know how to play pretty much every instrument really horribly. What band inspired you most uh, during you guys start and when you started touring around the world? Um, there was a couple of ones. I think in the beginning there were the Dead Kennedys, the New Bomb Turks, KSMB, the Sonics, Mitch Ryder and the Detroit Wheels, the Saints, uh, Kraftwerk, the Sex Pistols, there was a bunch of them. How do you feel about sequels of COVID? We're against it. Dude, make a solo show in Argentina. We are begging you. A solo show, huh? <laughs> Am I now a solo artist to you? Well, I guess because it's just me in the picture. Is that it? There's other band members too. Who is your favorite frontman? James Brown. 
or myself. There's a lot of good ones. Mick Jagger, Prince. I don't know. What's the best, most powerful, most memorable gig you had? Uh, too many to mention, really. Well, I'm gonna go with Foro Sol in Mexico, maybe two years ago. Uh, that's my favorite, actually. It was uh, one of my funnest nights in my life. What's your most favorite song you've ever written? Well, Randy Fitzsimmons writes them. So I, I got nothing. 100 Club London, I remember that gig too. Is it possible for the hives to have self-doubt? You would never know about it. Who would you love to tour with more than anyone? Um, I mean, we tour with pretty much everyone who's awesome to tour with, I think. Um, I'll leave that a blank. What's it like being in a band with your brother? It's the best of times and it's the worst of times. Now that you've played Mexico, any plans for New Mexico? We have played New Mexico as well, actually. Uh, Albuquerque. We should come back, though. You're the love child of Iggy Pop and Mick Jagger. That sounds awesome, but I don't think that's technically possible. Okay, any idea what the next uniform will be once the concerts begin again? Uh, not really, and I, if I knew, I'd probably not tell you. But yeah, working on it. Is there anything about touring that you don't miss? Airport food, probably. Airport, standing in line. Do you like Henning Mankell? I read one of his books and it was exciting. So yeah. Is that a painting behind you or a window? It's a window. It'd be a pretty cool painting though. Maybe I'll paint a replica of it and put it on the other wall. What would be your top three high energy rock and roll bands from Sweden from the past three decades? Skål och gratis. Skål. Uh, um, high energy rock bands. Three decades. What does that make? Like uh, since the nineties, then. Um, the helicopters. The Union Carbide Productions. And uh, the hives. Is there any chance to see Dr. Matt Destruction with the Hives again? Do you mean playing or in the same room? Um, probably yes on both. Who would win in a fight between Liam and Noel Gallagher? I don't know. I, I, hear, I hear they did have a fight, but I've still yet not heard who won. I'm sure you can read about it somewhere. Is that absolute vodka? Uh, no. Say something for your Mexican fans. Hola Mexico. Miss you. Love to Matt Destruction. Yeah, likewise. Love that guy. It'd be funny if he could jump in on the chat. Hopefully he's home having a great time. Would you come to Asia again? I would as soon as I could. If I get to, I'll go as soon as possible. Blur or Oasis? That seems like a question that's been drifting around the internet for since 92 and just landed in our chat. Viva Pelle, viva you too. How did you get so perfect? I don't know. Maybe I was just born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. So, Floyd Kirkpatrick has a question. The Tyrannosaurus Hives record is one of the best punk albums I've heard from front to back. Thank you very much. Please mix it heavy into your set lists. Well, that's kind of up to you. If you buy tickets, you can vote. And then uh, you can put some more Tyrannosaurus Hives in there. This live concert is going to be awesome. I'm sure all of my neighbors will hate your guts. I think they're going to direct that hatred at you first and foremost. Uh, but I think it'll be worth it. I think that's, that's all the questions I had from here. So now I'm just going to have to read really quickly and answer questions here. Do we have Matt from the Bronx somewhere in the chat? 
Maybe I can earn him from here. Hmm. Not yet. What do you think about Stiletto Express? Oh, good band. I was at the third man recording. How did you like the experience? It was really fun. It was really fun, but also kind of nerve wracking because we had the wrong drummer and he just rehearsed for two days. So, uh, it was mostly stressful for him though, I think. Uh, slightly less for us. Ah, let's see. Let's see if I can. <clears throat> Any very legal tracks on the set list? It, there will be if you vote for them. Oh! And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> How are yeah. things? Yeah, what up, man? How you doing? Doing great. Can nice. you tell? Yeah, yeah, you look good. Can you tell from the perpetual darkness behind me that I'm doing great? Yeah, your skin looks amazing, though. The people are right. You look good. <laughs> Likewise. How's sunny California? Oh, uh, it's beautiful, man. It's sunny today. It's nice. The waves are pumping and the uh, beach is nice. You know, no one Damn it. No, but it's all good. I got you, sideways uh, snow. Yeah. Are you excited for the uh, World Wide Web world tour? <laughs> yeah, I'm excited about the World Wide Web. I hear it's really something. <laughs> I'm excited to do a tour of it. Just yeah, gonna circle gonna... that whole web spanning the globe. It's going to be this, really fun. This is my seat right here. I'm going to be watching. I'm, I think I'm going to do the Sao Paulo show. Maybe yeah, I think you should. Show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear me embarrass myself in Portuguese. Oh, it's going to be amazing. I've never been there, man. That's going to be awesome. I'll enjoy yeah. it too. It'll kind of be like being there, but you'll be <laughs> watching a live stream from Sweden, but it'll still kind of feel like Sao Paulo. How come, you got no, uh, how come you got no openers? for the uh for the tour <laughs> yeah maybe we should i mean maybe you should just send us a couple of songs and we'll stick it in in, in the top so like the person happens is like support band oh man that'd God. be fun all right have you done any of these or are you doing any of these uh, things we did, we did one for halloween and it was it was a lot of fun uh but it wasn't anything like you guys are doing per usual you guys are taking it you know <laughs> a little a little too far if i'm being honest <laughs> So, so uh, wasn't it weird playing without a crowd? Yeah, yeah, it was it was real weird. But you know, we we kind of we kind of turned ours into more of a movie. So we kind of like tried to sidestep the aspect that there wasn't really a crowd. Yeah. You know? uh, but uh, you know, it just takes you back to like you know rehearsing, jamming in the garage, that type of thing. It's it it was a lot of fun. It felt so good to play. I mean, you guys are gonna have an awesome. Yeah. You know, yeah, that's the main thing that just actually getting to physically perform music again is gonna be fun. Yeah, if you had uh, if you had to pick what show you think is gonna be the best between London, New York, Sao Paulo, where else are you playing? Uh, Berlin, um, Sydney, and Stockholm. Oh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best for Sao Paulo to impress you, man. Yeah, 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 there we go. You keep yep. stay on my my top shelf game on that one. <laughs> How's your? Uh, uh, we did an interview a while back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For like we, a podcast. Yeah, it comes out. Uh, it comes out tomorrow, uh, which is amazing. It comes out January fourteenth. It's uh, Sailor Jerry podcast. Uh, it's, you can find it at Sailor Jerry on social media. Uh, it's available everywhere. Podcasts are going to be streaming, and uh, your episode number one my man so uh thank you very much on yeah that's her up <laughs> yeah it came, out, it came out really good man and uh and everyone's really excited about it so i'm i'm excited about it too i appreciate you yeah no worries man it was really fun to talk hey um the what was i gonna say yeah there were some questions about me taking care of my boys and you gave me like a tape if you want to discuss that again <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, I gave I gave you a tape of uh, of this guy Ron Anderson, who's like a, a vocal coach legend, at least out here. And uh, it was a it's a very you know getting uh, getting vocal lessons is a very almost personal experience, you know. So I was very hesitant 
to share uh, the recordings that I had with you, but uh, it's you like know. you playing me tapes. I listen to tapes of you in therapy every day before I go on stage. <laughs> it's it's really it's like a weird connection we have. Since yeah, then. absolutely, absolutely. We are we are connected on another level for sure. Yeah, yeah. but uh, you know, there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff like that in the interview, a lot of stuff about, you know, you know, COVID and, and vocal coaches and, and touring and all that good stuff. So, uh, you know, I want people to uh, check it out, obviously, along with the World Wide Web World Tour. That's four yeah. W's. That's too many W's. It's out put of control. As, always put as many W's as you can in there. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's on, uh, it's on uh, at Sailor Jerry on social media, on Instagram. So, and also uh, your people, uh, Randy Fitzsimmons is going to put the link uh, in the Hives bio. So it'll be on your socials too. So you can check that out. Download it, subscribe, all that stuff. I love you, <laughs> but good to see your face. Love you too, man. Take care. Right, I'll, I'll see you. I'll see you in St. Palo. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy California, care. man. I'm sure you will. Bye. Right, Bye. That was Matt from the Bronx. There's also a question earlier about come to Mexico again, please, and please respond. I'm doing my absolute best to come to Mexico. We all are, but you know, the current situation forces us to not actually do it at the moment. But if you sort out the whole worldwide pandemic situation, I'll come. Hi from Argentina. Hi Argentina. You should check out the Sao Paulo show. I think you should all you should all buy a lot of tickets for the show so we can feel connected perpetually um, buy some tickets buy some t-shirts as well it's a it's a dull time in the hives world we could use some money to have more fun i'm hands down the coolest dude on the planet it's not really a question but I sure appreciate it do you have panic scenic how you cannot be scared singing and dancing having fun with the people well i am scared that's why i'm running around screaming all the time I'm terrified constantly. Could any show sell out? No, they can't. Uh, although it might be more strategically correct for me to say that they can sell out so you buy tickets early, but no, you can all buy tickets for all the shows uh, and you should. How is the process of finding your singing style? It's just a, a long list of things I didn't want to do and a long list of things I couldn't do and I ended up with the little bit that you are now hear on recordings and, and live. Tussles and Brushes, I treasured that DVD from my school days. Love from the footprints of the Himalayas. That's awesome, man. Hello, Himalayas. Uh, you're the best you are. Right, fans? See if we got some more questions. Ninja as well. He is not bored. Ninja as well. He's probably bored too, though. Michigan, love you right back. Saludos, Chile. Who's the second best live band in the world? Uh, or oh, two different. How's Chris been? It's been a bit up and down. Better, I hope. Love that guy. Why you guys play so little of Barely Legal? Well, it's the oldest stuff we have. And I, for one, feel like the stuff we do now, I would rather play more. Because it's also the stuff we play the most. So if you think about it, we've actually done more Barely Legal than we have our current songs. So the current songs, it's their time to shine now. Hot Cowboy, Hot Cowboy. He was having to do the refuse tour because of surgery. Is he better? Yeah, he's better from a surgery. Chris, uh, there was, it was a real health scare, but Chris is back and drumming again, like the tornado he is. What's your feeling about being the best front man ever? I mean, if it's true, it feels amazing. It feels like I've achieved something in my rotten little life. So I'm happy about that. If I love all our albums the same, not really. I love some of them more, but uh, 
but I won't disclose which ones. I'm glad you love that legal. <sighs> Would you consider doing a show where you play B-sides songs that you never play live? Yeah, sure. The only problem with that is on most our songs, most of the crowd wants to hear the hit. What happened to your and Lickie Lee's doo-wop group? Yeah, man, I kind of, she moved to, the, to Los Angeles and became a big star. And we ended up kind of not finishing that thought, but it's still a pretty good thought. I think uh, it'd be fun to pick it up somewhere along the line. Who would you tour with? I mean, I tour with pretty much anybody as uh, has been proven in the past. What's the most fun song to play live? Oh, so too many to mention. They're all so much fun to play in their own different ways. Uh, which one song did I have the most fun playing at rehearsal today? Maybe Patrolling Days. Has it really been seven years since we came to Argentina? That's not fair. We should come back. Will this be recorded to you later? I will certainly try. Would you work with Korean artists? Sure. Why not? Any words of advice for a current first time vocalist? It, it doesn't feel good in the beginning. It's very difficult, man. Just hang in there. When you're going through hell, keep going. Is any of your furniture from Ikea? Yeah, there's a state mandate in Sweden that, that uh, specifies that you have to have at least one piece of Ikea furniture in every room. I've picked small uh, things that you can barely see, but they are there. Otherwise, I would not be a Swede. Who is your biggest influence as a performer? I don't know. Maybe James Brown. I stole some moves from him. But being tall and pale, it's maybe not as obvious. Hug from Brazil. Hi, Brazil. Man, are there any more questions? Can I get you people? Let's try this uh, for the World Wide Web Tour. If I ask you all to clap, can you write clap in the comment section? So if you all write clap, 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 it'll feel like applause to me. Can you all do that? I mean, the hearts is one thing, but I want you to write clap. Everybody write clap now. C-L-A-P. Doesn't seem to be working. What's up with the Swedish government's hard stance on cannabis? Yeah, all I know is... Oh, the claps are coming. The claps are coming in. Woohoo! Keep them clapping. More. <laughs> I love this. You guys should do this when we do the tour. It's going to feel exactly like doing a live show. This feels exactly like live and close to me now. I could just sit and stare at this all day. Three claps from Butterfly Trapped in Frost. Well, the Swedish, Swedish government's hard stance on cannabis then. Do you want me to elaborate? So all I remember is seeing films in school about it that where it was basically you smoke cannabis once and it leads to certain death of multiple a, a drug overdose situation probably heroin and it was it was a straight line there uh well that was maybe slightly propagandesque but it maybe not more to smoke cannabis i guess and and it's been good for my creative life to not smoke cannabis so and you've all enjoyed that it seems, otherwise you wouldn't be here. Hello, Colombia. Well, I would like to thank you all for the applause so much. Like, if there are any more questions, we can get back to that again. Are you wearing a suit? Yes, I am. That's a big clap. You were amazed in Santiago de Compostela. Thank you very much. I was amazed to see you there as well.
Love and the applause, kids. All right. Can you please reach the black and white album and vinyl? I'll ask somebody higher up in management to do it. Management, you've been warned. We should release the black and white album and vinyl again. Maybe it's sold out or something. Somebody asked about cool ninja guys. That's a fun question because everybody loves them. Uh, what do you want to know about them? I mean, I don't really know that much about them myself. I, apart from like they show up before the shows and they take care of all that stuff. And then they leave after the show. And because of this, they're doing that. The payment for that is my soul, which they will claim at a later date. Memphis or Detroit music? Uh, very difficult question, but I'll go with Memphis today. How was the recording at Third Man Records? It was really, really fun. It was a perfect day. How do you guys practice Zoom? Sorry if you answer. No, we actually meet and practice. Uh, we go to a room and practice the old fashioned way by actually by actually uh, playing the music together. Because I think that's the only way we can actually learn it well enough to play for you. It's crowd surfing scary. Has the audience ever dropped you? Uh, it's not that scary, but yes, they have dropped me. Where can I buy a black and white suit? Pretty much everywhere in the world. That's kind of why we settled on them as a stage outfit. Your thoughts on hard jazz music? Well, it's what I grew up listening to. Uh, mine and Nicholas' dad is a big hard jazz fan. And I did not like it during my entire childhood. But now it seems it's part of my DNA. What instruments do you play? Oh. I play all of them really horribly. Are you in lockdown in Sweden? Not so much lockdown. It's pretty lenient. We're, you know, it's recommended that we stay indoors. And the weather is recommended us to stay indoors as well. Do you still have the Silvertonic played in the Hits I Told You So video? Uh, Nick still has it. He bought it during our first, first time we went to America, uh, to Austin, Texas in 1998, he bought it. And he still has it. <sighs> Can I do photos for you when you finally hit the UK? Yes. What made you choose to use your singing voice, your yelling voice? You used to just yell. Well, I guess it's about up to what song I'm provided with and I try to interpret it the best I can. Waiting for you in Athens, Greece. Yeah, I'd love to come back. I love that place. When did you learn English? At birth. Germany misses you. And Germany, we miss you too. And very soon we will play for you through uh, the magic of the internet by broadcasting music straight from our skulls into a giant steel piston encircling the globe in a satellite. And it will then beam down the Berlin show into Berlin and into other places in the world. And you can all see it, but you've got to buy tickets first. You've got to go to the Hives shop. You can just Google the Hives and shop. I don't think you can fail. Uh, so do that and buy some tickets. Make us rich and happy. And we will make you slightly poorer, but a lot happier. I think that's how that works. And then you come see a show when we actually can play a real show later on. But for now, this is the, this is what we can do. And I think it will do nicely. It's going to be a fucking fantastic time. I'm really looking forward to it. You're really looking forward to it. So keep buying those tickets and I'll see you soon. I don't know what else to say. Can we get Matt from the Bronx back again? I don't know. He seems to be done. He's out surfing or something. Thoughts on knock, knock, knock. I like that song store.thehives.com that's where you get your tickets so store.thehives.com best live band on the planet best live stream you'll ever see it's all there in the comments man i'm thinking i'm gonna go off the air now uh but i'll i'll do it do you think i should do another one of these soon Have you earned some money in 2020? Not really. I'm getting by on my own money. All right, for the last time now, everybody write clap in the comments. 
Everybody must write clap in the comments. You're writing yes, it's not actually the same now. Here come the claps. More claps, please. There we go. So clap me out of here. Thank you very much, guys and girls. I sure love you. Keep screaming until you see me next time. Broadcast into your living room. Loud, proud, and aloud. Thank you very much. Love you. See you soon on Instagram Live.